Good evening. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 50th commencement ceremony of Franklin University, Switzerland. Today is a very special moment in the life of Franklin. It is first and foremost a day of celebration. Today we recognize the accomplishments of our senior class and our graduate students. Each of you should be really proud of what you have accomplished and what we are about to celebrate today. And we are justly proud of you. These are challenging times, but I don't want to belabor an issue about which we are all, unfortunately, too aware. Today is a day to celebrate, and I urge us all to look to the future. Things will get better. Working together in a spirit of collaboration, we will return to normality. But we can also be certain that the world will have changed and that things will be different. You, the class of 2020, will be at the forefront of any change. I feel certain that with your skills and with your resilience, you will become the leaders that we envision as an integral part of our mission. Today's graduation ceremony may not be the real thing in a physical sense, but it is no less real as a ceremony that celebrates your achievements and also celebrates the trust that we have put you to shape our future. We are honoring our past, but we are also looking to that future. We are constructing a new building that will serve as a modern center for students, for the offices of student life, a home for the Taylor Institute, an expanded Tone Athletic Center, as well as new classrooms and conference spaces. We continue to innovate with a new track in pre-health and a new minor in international law. We hold fast to our values as an institution where liberal arts connect to professional pathways. You have met the academic requirements and of this you should be proud. But it's also a moment to reflect that you have not done it alone. Your success has been supported by faculty, by staff, by our institution. But you have also succeeded because of the support of your families and the support of your friends. This would be an appropriate moment to remember and thank all those who have helped you achieve this success. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Franklin University's Chair of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Kim Hildebrandt. Dear graduating class of 2020, Your Excellency and also Honorary Degree Recipient, Ambassador Pia van Hoopst, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Ai nostri illustri partecipanti della lingua italiana, e con immenso piacere che vi do il più cordiale benvenuto alla nostra cerimonia virtuale di laurea. Today is an incredibly special day for you graduates, a day that you no doubt have looked forward to throughout this whole semester, and rightfully so. It is a day that you will hopefully also treasure and hold within your heart throughout your life. You've worked hard, and your commitment to excellence has been exemplary. Within the last three months, you and the whole institution suddenly had to face unexpected and surreal circumstances due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This placed upon the entire Franklin community the necessity to rapidly be make as well as adapt to complex changes, while having to accept personal sacrifices no one could ever have imagined. Not only did you confront these challenges, but you did so with the true Franklin spirit. You certainly deserve to be among today's graduates. Class of 2020, I commend you for reaching the great milestone of graduation and new interesting life experiences now lie ahead of you. After today, you'll become citizens of the world, and we hope you take with you everything that you've learned whilst at Franklin. Transform this knowledge into the tools necessary to find your professional pathway and become exemplary leaders, innovators, or motivators in what will be a new world once the health crisis abates. My heart, as well as those of my distinguished colleagues on the Board of Trustees, go out to all you graduates, as together we face the disappointment 
in only being able to offer you a virtual commencement ceremony due to the social distancing guidelines. But notice, a new part of your life will nevertheless commence today. And you and your peers around the globe will play a major role in what it takes to rebuild the world community after this reset. I can therefore assure you that all of us within the Franklin family, independent of our roles, are so immensely proud of you and look forward to celebrating you once again in May 2021 with a double commencement ceremony here in Lugano. It would be very wrong of me not to also mention your parents, family members and loved ones. I'm more than certain that their love and pride for what you have achieved today can with any doubt be perceived through their beaming eyes. Hopefully, you too are also proud of graduating from this great university and grateful for having been given this opportunity by your loved ones. I know that I'm still grateful to my parents. As many decades ago, I too graduated from Franklin, as did many of my esteemed colleagues on the Board of Trustees. Allow me also to commend President Greg Warden and Vice President and Dean of Academic Affairs, Sarah Steinert Borella, and the remarkable faculty and staff of Franklin University, Switzerland, for their unity and tireless efforts during the outbreak of the pandemic, and the true devotion with which our faculty transmit academic learning to our fortunate students. In concluding my message to you all, allow me to remind you never to forget your Franklin family, as we will never forget you. Congratulations, dear class of 2020. Ambassador Pio Benobst is our commencement speaker tonight. He was invited to present the commencement address by the Franklin Board of Trustees, and he was nominated for an honorary degree, a PhD honoris causa, by the faculty of the university. Because honorary degrees are traditionally awarded in person, the ceremonial conferring of the degree and the ritual hooding will have to take place next year when we'll invite Ambassador Benobst back with us in May to join us. We are fortunate, however, to have him address us virtually this year, and it's my great honor to introduce him. Pio Venobst is the Vice Director and Head of the Global Cooperation Sector of the Federal Department of Foreign Affairs of the Swiss Confederation. He is an agroeconomist. After a period of as Managing Director of a Swiss chemical company, Ambassador Venobst moved to the public sector as an academic researcher. In 1992, he began working in the field of development cooperation for the UN in Nepal. He joined the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation the SDC in 1995 and was initially posted to Bolivia and subsequently to Madagascar, where he was tasked with reorganizing Swiss development corporation activities. After a period as an economist at the SDC's head office in Bern, in 2004, Ambassador Venobs was appointed SDC country director in Dar es Salaam. From 2008 to 2011, he was the Deputy Permanent Representative of the Swiss Mission to the Rome-based UN agencies. From 2010, he was also in charge of the SDC's global program, Food Security. He later joined the Swiss Permanent Mission to the UN in New York as head of the Economic and Social Development Team. Ambassador Venobs has been an active communicator of the values that are fundamental to the mission of Franklin University. He has lectured widely, including for TEDx, and he gave a memorable conv convocation address at Franklin a few years ago. He has been an active supporter of the Blue Peace, Investing Peace Through Water movement, and he has been actively involved with Franklin's Master of Science in, inter in International Management program. Please welcome Ambassador Venobst. Your Excellency Gregory Warden, President of the Franklin University. Dear Kim Hildebrand, Chair of the Board of Trustees, members of the Board of Trustees, professors and colleagues, friends of the Franklin Universities, students, parents, families, and friends of the students. Conferring upon me the degree of Doctor of Humanities, on all his causes. Moreover, 
at your 50th anniversary. Hmm. What a surprise, what a joy, and what an honor. As a Swiss, uh, Moroga was born here in Lugano, nearby. Franklin University, when I was a child, meant to me something mysterious, something like um, Harry Potter thing. Later on, when working together on diplomatic educational issues, I really realized what Franklin University is, a trustful, worthy institution. It's really a great institution. And by the way, it comes with an with a interesting feature that your diploma is valid both in Switzerland as in the US at the same time. But for this commencement day, I'm here to talk to you, student. And I would like to start maybe, maybe by just reading out a list. Yesterday was, I was writing for, not, for other reasons, other purposes. I was writing a list of qualities. And while writing them and reading them, I was thinking about you. Strong, agile, joyful, supportive informed, open, curious, smart, daring, innovative, purposed, passionate, intense, empathic, compassionate, inclusive, caring, structured, modest, generous, and there are many others here in the list that I could mention. We are all, all of us, we are born with these qualities inside at the very beginning. Then what makes that these qualities actually flourish or do not flourish, or actually they transform themselves in the opposite, in grudgy, aware, or something like this? It has to do with something that uh, leads to the concept of being complete. And it's something that you just, there is nothing else you can do than just go through your life and learn by doing it. Some people learn it faster, some people learn it, take more time. For me it took ages, but I got there, I think, a bit. And what is that allows to feel this feeling of being complete that leads to well, wellness, well-being actually, feeling good with yourself and therefore with what you are doing and with others? It's, it's related to a paradox. On the one hand, there is the fear of the unknown. When we, you don't know things, when you don't know what's going to happen and so on, th there is something that kicks in that is very much related to fear. Um, there's many of examples that, that we, could, we could bring on this. Uh, we always tend to think when we don't know something that there is something behind, something we don't, we don't know exactly and so what's going on and so on. On the other hand of the paradox, there is the need to a certain moment to be free of the known. So on the one hand, there is the fear of the unknown, and on the other hand, the need to be free of the known, and this is the balance between these two that bring us to be complete. And what is important is that the Franklin University tries to help you in getting to learn how to, to work with these two elements of the paragraphs at the same time. On the one hand is, is learning, is helping you to learn to be innovative, to dare, to try to new things and so on, jump. Even if you are not knowing what's going there, there is no harm. You can do mistakes. So this is this is a strong part of the of the of this Frank University. But on the other hand, is also telling you, don't be complacent, don't become dogmatic, don't think you know it all, because. You will not know everything, as I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. And things, by the way, are changing all the time. So this avoiding, on the one hand, dogmas that 
are linked very much with keeping alive curiosity while you're going through your life. Allows also to accept others' opinion and to be empathic. So you will realize slowly, slowly that all the list of qualities I mentioned are very much linked and intertwined with these two aspects. Learning to overcome the fear of the unknown, but also at the same time, learn to drop the known and be ready to enter into the unknown. This is the only thing I can, I can offer you. I, it comes from my own experience, actually. I did it through a little bit through education, but also simply by life experience, and mostly about the fear of the unknown. And when you're getting towards health-related issues, you know, this year, the reason why I have in this commencement day by video is there is a lot of fear around about what's happening because we don't know and we are learning. We are all learning at the same time. Let, let uh, make sure that you in the future, while you're students, you are tapping, stepping into your next point in your life, that you remember both of the elements of the paradox will be important will accompany for all your life. All the best and thank you for allowing me to talk to you. Mr. President, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the degree of Master of Science. On behalf of the faculty, I certify that these persons have completed the required course of study for the master's degree at Franklin University, Switzerland, or will do so by the end of the summer 2020 semester. And they are presented to you for conferring of these degrees at the appropriate time. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, and on the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The following candidates will receive the degree of Master of Science in International Management. From Dortmund, Germany, Martin Alexander Dreyer. From Istanbul, Turkey, Axel Ugulen. From Sunny Isles Beach, Florida, USA, Skylar Henry. From Jacksonville, Florida, USA, Jenna Nicole Tovey. From Seonyam Si, South Korea, Yunsik Yoon. From Vienna, Austria, Conrad Zahidi. Mr. President, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. On behalf of the faculty, I certify that these persons have completed the required course of study at Franklin University, Switzerland, or will do so by the end of the summer semester 2020. And they are presented to you for conferring of these degrees at the appropriate time. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, and on the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The following candidates will receive the degree of Bachelor of Arts. From Rome, Italy, with a major in art history and visual culture, Vasco Aguglia. From Ashgabat, Turkmenistan, with a major in international management with an emphasis in marketing, Maksat Babayev. From Ashgabat, Turkmenistan, with a major in international management with an emphasis in marketing, Murat Babayev. From Lugano, Switzerland, and Bogota, Colombia, with majors in art history and visual culture and visual communication arts with an emphasis in studio arts, and graduating magna cum laude, Daniela Bayardi. Daniela has been selected as the Outstanding Student in Art and Art History, and she is the recipient of the Gerda Holman Award, a prize named for a former Franklin professor and honoring the Outstanding Student whose actions best exemplify sensitivity and mindfulness to other cultures and whose behavior has been instrumental in helping the community gain awareness of cultural issues. From Baku, Azerbaijan, with a major in international management with an emphasis in finance, Naxwan 
Baremov from Iseo, Italy, with a major in art history and visual culture, Camila Borghi. From Los Angeles, California, USA, with a major in international relations with an emphasis in political economy, Isabel Butaev. From Roanoke, Virginia, USA, with a combined major in environmental science and literature, and graduating cum laude, Lily Carr from Fort Lee, New Jersey, USA, with majors in history and international relations, He Jin Cho. From Turin, Italy, with a major in international banking and finance, Paolo Di Tano. From Federal Way, Washington, USA, with a major in communication and media studies, Stephanie Eaton. Stephanie has been selected as the outstanding student in communication and media studies. From Springfield, New Jersey, USA, with a major in international management with an emphasis in marketing, Jordan Fakidi. From Bellevue, Washington, USA, with a major in psychology, Bradley Ferber. From Baguio, Philippines, and San Jose, California, USA, with majors in comparative literary and cultural studies and international economics with an emphasis in political economy, and graduating magna cum laude, Illumine Mahal Boreta Gakayan. From Washington, D.C., USA, with majors in international management and international relations, and graduating magna cum laude, Dylan George. Dylan has been selected as the outstanding student in both international management and international relations. From Odessa, Ukraine, with a major in international relations, Valery Grachov. From Amman, Jordan, with a major in international banking and finance, Sanad Hajiri. From Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, with a major in international management, with an emphasis in marketing, Jana Kayat. From Kamishli, Syria, with a combined major in economics and management, Laura Kafarkas. From Simi Valley, California, USA, with a combined major in history and literature and graduating cum laude, Justice Kinney. Justice has been selected as the outstanding student in literature. From Mexico City, Mexico, with a major in international relations and graduating cum laude, Mariana Levia Fuentes. From Minsk, Belarus, with a major in international management, with an emphasis in marketing, Hannah Loika. From Los Angeles, California, USA, with a major in international management, with an emphasis in marketing, Georgia Luliani. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA, with a major in literature and graduating, magna cum laude, Gunnar Lundberg. From Alpharetta, Georgia, USA, with a combined major in comparative literary and cultural studies and French studies, Riley Manning. From Gurney, Illinois, USA, with majors in comparative literary and cultural studies and French studies and graduating magna cum laude, Madeline McWilliams. From Highland Park, Illinois, USA, with majors in international banking and finance and international economics, and graduating cum laude, Eamon Moore. From Menlo Park, California, USA, with a major in international economics and graduating cum laude, Marina Moore. From Lugano, Switzerland, with a major in psychology and graduating cum laude, Nicole Motale. Nicole has been selected as the outstanding student in psychology. From Green Oaks, Illinois, USA, with majors in comparative literary and cultural studies and environmental studies with an emphasis in science and graduating summa cum laude, Gabriela Munoz. Gabby has been selected as the outstanding student in comparative literary and cultural studies and is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award awarded each spring to the Franklin student who manifests strong intellectual curiosity, a love of learning, and potential for scholarly research. 
from Bozeman, Montana, USA, with majors in environmental studies and social justice and sustainability, and graduating magna cum laude, Mary Newton. From Mission Viejo, California, USA, with a major in communication and media studies, Alexis O'Hara. Alexis has been selected as the outstanding student in communication and media studies. From Sterling, Virginia, USA, with a major in environmental studies with an emphasis in science and graduating magna cum laude, Caitlin Payne. Kat has been selected as the outstanding student in both environmental studies and German. From Annapolis, Maryland, USA, with a major in international relations, Allison Pena. From Hollywood, Florida, USA, with a major in psychology, Karina petroski sousa from Richmond, Virginia, with a major in Comparative Literary and Cultural Studies, Anne Alexander Phillips. From Shreveport, Louisiana, USA, with a major in International Economics, Emily Richards. From Tbilisi, Georgia, with majors in Communication and Media Studies and International Management, Margarita Rogava. From Woodbridge, Virginia, USA, with a major in Communication and Media Studies, Danielle Ross. From Seattle, Washington, USA, with a combined major in art history and visual culture and communication and media studies, Karina Sato. From Moscow, Russia, with a major in international management with an emphasis in marketing, Maxim Shanov. From Moscow, Russia, with a major in international management, Elizabeth Chosharova. From Ingram, Texas, USA, with a major in history, Curtis Talifus. From Chicago, Illinois, USA, with a combined major in comparative literary and cultural studies and psychology, Elsa Thompson. From Shenzhen, China, with majors in environmental studies with an emphasis in science, Pauline Thompson. From Geneva, Switzerland, with a major in international management with an emphasis in finance, Stepan Venetian. From Coimbatore, India, with a major in international management with an emphasis in marketing, Shivani Vijay Krishna. From Redding, California, USA, with majors in environmental studies with an emphasis in science and political science, and graduating magna cum laude, William Wallace. William has been selected as the outstanding student in both environmental studies and political science. He is also the recipient of the Presidential Leadership Award, awarded to the student whose behavior exhibits strong extracurricular involvement in the life of the college and who demonstrates excellence in leadership. From Dallas, Oregon, USA, with a major in literature and graduating cum laude, Emily Weininger. At this point in the ceremony, it's customary for me to instruct the graduates to move your tassels from right to left, signaling the fact that you are now officially graduates of the university. Now, clearly, that may not make much sense in a video ceremony, but the point is, you are now officially graduates of Franklin. It's also my great pleasure at this point to invite Professor Johanna Fassel to introduce the valedictorian. Good evening and greetings to everybody dispersed all over the world. I'm Johanna Fassel, Professor of Art History and Visual Communication here at Franklin, and I have the great pleasure to introduce our valedictorian of this year, Daniela Bayardi. But before I do that, I would like, on behalf of the Art History Department, to congratulate all of you 2020 graduates on your achievements and wish you well for the next steps in your life. Daniela Bayardi graduates magna cum laude with a double major in Art History and Visual Culture and Visual Communication Arts and a minor in Media Production and Publishing. Her background and her interests are indicative of what makes Franklin a truly unique place. That's also why she is the recipient of the Goethe Holman Award. Born right next door to our campus in Sorengo, her family moved to Nigeria, and as a child, she already traveled to Niger 
Ghana and Benin before entering school. She returned to Europe for two years of middle school in Strasbourg and finished her high school in Bern and now officially resides between Sorengo and Bogota. Curious and courageous are two words to describe Daniela. She completed two majors plus a minor. She speaks multiple languages. She was an academic mentor to freshman students twice. She served as the president of the photography club and she donated her time to our scholarships with our borders program. Daniela has an infectious passion for the arts and specifically all that concerns music. And everybody who has met her definitely got a dose of that passion. She never shies away from taking on new tasks and leaving her comfort zone, which is why she will continue her studies with a master's degree in history, theory of art and architecture. I recently asked Daniela to describe her education here at Franklin and she said, being here at Franklin felt like one big kinder surprise. That Franklin gave her the hunger to never stop learning, to practice theory and to apply theory to practice, to explore all that you love and to know what it feels like to be supported by a community that wants to see you at your best. Daniela, we definitely saw you at your best here at Franklin. So thank you for enriching our community. So let's see what the good advice from the Kinder Oracle holds for your future. <laughs> it's a painter, very fitting. So the Oracle says, never stop caring for the arts. And thank you for having enriched our community. Hi everyone, hi class of 2020. First of all, I wanted to thank my fellow classmates for nominating me and trusting me to do this. And I'm very much honored to do this. Thank you so much. And this is a small postcard from Lugano. And um, this valedictorian speech wa was inspired by John Berger's uh, Ways of Seeing documentary from 1972. And well, the title of this fellow turn speech is The Ways of Seeing, Class of 2020. And um, I hope you enjoy it and that everyone is safe wherever they are, wherever in the world, and yeah, enjoy it. So we're starting off with a watercolor piece by Hermann Hess. He was a German writer who lived for quite a while in Colina d'Oro. Colina d'Oro is not very far from Sorengo. It's very close, as you can see here, a beautiful portrayal of Ticino. Sunny, and of course, the palm tree, which is pretty symbolic to Lugano and Ticino when it comes to tourism, a lot. And I wanted to also talk about how four years have passed, which are a lot. For some others, three, for others, less, because they transferred to Franklin. But one common point is that coming to Franklin, and especially coming to Switzerland, being blown away by the scenery, the views and all, which is quite amazing. And, but not for, not for everyone, especially for a local, they would say, oh, it's just Switzerland, you know, I see it every single day. But it was beautiful to see a new beauty of Switzerland through the eyes of others, which they were like, oh, wow, it's amazing, it's so beautiful. And then starting to catch up on that and saying, oh, yes, it is quite beautiful to be here and to live here and to be blessed by the mountains and the safety, of course, and the sun, because we're one of the sunniest cantons in Switzerland. You're pretty lucky. The Raft of the Medusa by Jericho. As you can see, this is a very, very, very dramatic painting and could represent class of 2020 during midterms and finals, maybe once or twice or more, but also represents how we 
realized at that point that we were all in this together. It did not matter what major we were in. We were all in this together. And also the fact that in these four years we have seen the worst side of each and every one at some point. But also the best side of each and every one of us. And to be able to see your classmates and friends grow to be who, who they are right now, it's something very amazing and life-changing, you could say. Before I said that we were all in, in this together, but at some point we had to declare our major or majors and we became kind of part of representing them, well the department and so on. And some of them are bigger or smaller than others, as you can see here, <laughs> decided to represent it this way. And also how after staying at Franklin for a while, you start understanding the different dynamics between departments and so on, and also between students who are specific major and whatnot, which is quite interesting <laughs> to see. And also the diversity in majors from history, international relations, management also, or art history, communications, and so on. And many others, CLCS, literature, finance, economics, visual communications, environmental science, of course, and so on. So given the situation we are all in at this moment, with this global pandemic going on which has made all of us turn into a hopper painting as you can see here everyone is at home doing their work from home and also well finishing off this last semester last undergrad semester at home was quite weird for everyone and not what we imagined to be our last semester or a few months ago the last time we would we would see someone and we don't know if we're gonna see them possibly in, gra in the graduation 2021 if we come back people come back but we have all turned into a hopper painting so the last painting was by Regina Conti the first female painter in Ticino she was actually born in Lugano and died in Sorengo which is quite important but going back to the point I made about the Raft of the Medusa and how we're all on the same raft in midterms and finals, we could also say that in the beginning at Franklin, we were starting to build off this raft, which was not very stable at the beginning, you know, being freshmen, sometimes we don't know things. and. Later on, with time, this raft became a boat. This boat started to have different compartments, meaning people decided to declare their majors, and so on. And also, this boat became bigger, better, also with more knowledge and more confidence. And now, the final destination of this boat that has carried everyone class of 2020 has a final destination which is the final dock you could say and we are all ready to get down from this big boat and to start our own journey we're going to take off with our own boats and each and every one of us is going to have a single 
boat, you could say, and take their own path and go into this world which right now does not look very safe or well the future does not look very certain and but however we are going to take our own path with our own little boats and one other thing is that um, French artists female artist who spoke to us she said I need my memories they are my documents which is a great thing because we have all made a lot of memories at Franklin and right now they're our documents we can always go back to those documents memories and I could say we can always go back with our boat to visit them and also how each and every one of us is going to partake into their own journey, their own path. We'll see each other maybe next year, who knows, for graduation 2021 to actually walk on stage physically. And maybe we'll see each other in two years, five years, who knows, 20 years. But we'll always have those memories with us. And I want to wish everyone a safe journey into this world and into this job market, this new job market, we could say. And I hope everyone can achieve their dreams. And always remember Franklin. I would now like to invite Emily Boynton to address the graduating class about the Alumni Association. Hi there, my name is Emily Boynton and I'm a member of the class of 2009 and an Alumni Council member and I'm coming to you today from my tiny studio apartment in Washington DC. You know, this time of year and this particular day is something that you and your family have anticipated for many years. And I know it's very hard. Some of you are celebrating your undergraduate degree and others of you are marking the culmination of your graduate degrees. Uh, but for all of us, I know the, the measures that we've taken to prevent the spread of COVID-19 have affected all of us. And unfortunately, we're not able to celebrate all of your amazing achievements in person this year. And I'm just heartbroken about that, but I am honored today to virtually celebrate with all of you. And I hope to see all of you next year, May 2021, in beautiful Lugano, where we can celebrate together. Now, today I'm representing the Alumni Council, and I want to make sure that I get everything right. So I've written down a few opportunities um, for all of you to get more involved in the alumni world now that you are graduates today. So with that, I'll get to my speech. <laughs> now, it's my privilege today to speak to you as you are all full of promise and potential. As a member of the Franklin University Alumni Association, it is also my privilege to hereby confer on each graduate lifetime membership in the Franklin University Alumni Association. Congratulations and welcome to a family and association of more than 7,000 members worldwide. Franklin has played a major role in shaping all of us, and we all leave with memories and experiences that have shaped our future for good and serve as a springboard for the next phase of our life. The Alumni Association is really about that next phase. Our purpose is to help you stay connected to Franklin. One way alumni can help make that happen is by mentoring and supporting current students. The Alumni Association helps you stay connected to Franklin by hosting alumni events and regional networking get-togethers, providing a career advisory platform and social media resources, and creating opportunities to conserve and to serve the Franklin community as an alumni volunteer or leader. The Alumni Association and the university are designed to help you be as successful as you can possibly be. After all, your success is our success, and we want to support you as you pursue, pursue your post-academic life and career. Congratulations, graduates. 
where your fellow alumni are rooting for you. And we're so happy to have you as a part of the Franklin alumni family. And we love you and want only what's best for you. So please do stay connected. And uh, as you go out into the world, remember your memories of Franklin fondly and uh, be in touch. We're here for you. Thank you. We have celebrated tonight thanks to technology. What I want you to remember that all that you have accomplished is in no way diminished by our inability to be together physically. I want you to be proud of how you have grown at Franklin. I am also proud of your achievements, as proud as any member of your family. What you have learned, the experiences that have changed you, and the friendships that you formed will be with you forever. You now hold in your hand a Franklin degree. It tells the world that you're educated. You have worked hard, and we're all proud of that. But today I want to remind you that your education is not an end in itself. Education must be something that allows you to continue to learn. And through the ability to continue learning, you should be able to succeed at whatever you decide to do and you should be able to use your education to bring positive change to our world. I believe that we have prepared you well. You have now joined the ranks of an educated elite. I hope that as a graduate of Franklin, you will become responsible, compassionate, and collaborative leaders. We have placed our hopes and our energies in you, in the faith that you will accept this challenge and that through this challenge, you will prosper. Now at this point in the graduation, I would normally ask everyone to stand, and ask you to stand to celebrate together so that we, you can all throw up your caps in the air, get happy, do whatever happens after graduation. We can't do that now, but what I want to do is invite you to come back next year. Come join us for a double graduation, a double celebration, in the meantime, I would ask that everyone, colleagues, family, and friends, please note then that I present to you Franklin University, Switzerland, graduating class of 2020. Join us all in celebrating them. <laughs>